Roar 2's graphical user interface is simple yet very powerful. Let me give you a quick tour of some highlights. In this video, I'll cover two general areas of the user interface. Displaying what you want, how you want, and then saving views. Most everything in Roar 2's interface is customizable. The colors, line widths, text sizes, and styles, even what the mouse buttons do. As you can see, how things are displayed can be changed, but maybe more importantly, what is displayed is easy to control to a very detailed level. This button opens the window that controls what information is displayed. Let me highlight a few of the items on the list. It is helpful to know the location of the nodes, especially certain nodes such as at the equipment connections or support locations. Showing all the nodes in an overview of the model can result in overlapping of node names. Although the node names can be moved, it still may be desirable to not show all the node names in certain views. Here we select just nodes at boundary conditions. We can further specify which type of boundary condition, such as supports, and if that is not specific enough, we can select support types on a granular level. The boundary conditions themselves can be switched on or off here. Certain texts that are part of the model can be displayed, such as nozzle descriptions or support tags. This turns on a description of the spring, in this case, an Anvil B268 size 7 type F. Remember, the size of the text or whether it has a box around it is all customizable. All these options give rise to a need to store various views for later recall. Roar2 can save views, which saves not only the zoom and orientation of the model, but also what was shown at the time of the save. Even views of results can be saved and later automatically inserted into the stress report. When models become larger, views of sections can be stored so that the proper amount of information is in each view. Complex piping systems where piping is overlapping can be presented in a much clearer way by using views where the hidden piping can be shown with a dotted line or not at all. Thanks for watching.